It's a beautiful day to be alive. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can easily edit a series of photos in Lightroom with just a few clicks and apply the same exact style across all those photos. Let's do it. Welcome to the start of Micro Tutorial Monday. One of the questions that I've been getting a ton lately is how to edit a batch of photos or a series of photos in Lightroom using a similar edit across all photos. And that's what we're gonna dig into today. So let's jump right into Lightroom and I'll show you what is going on. First, um, we're gonna go ahead and use a few photos that I took not too long ago from this super dope art installation out in Palm Springs. They, I think it's still there. It's called the Mirrored House or Mirror House or something like that. Basically, this artist uh, up on the hill in Palm Springs created a house out of mirrors. So the whole exterior and interior is all mirrors and it is a freaking insane. It is the photographer's dream. And if you're in Palm Springs and it's still up, trust me, it is worth the hike up the hill. So we're gonna use photos from that shoot and uh, and yeah, we're gonna use photos from that shoot for this tutorial. So let's take a look. Opening up Lightroom, one quick thing that uh, I did that's worth mentioning is I went ahead and created a collection, <clears throat> which we can get into in another tutorial, of uh, a few photos from this shoot. So I'll just click through so you can check out some of these bad boys. Now these are the photos that we're gonna use and want to apply a similar look and feel across all of them. So what we're going to do is select the base photo that we're going to edit and go to our develop tab. If you haven't used Lightroom very much, I created another video which you can find right here that's kind of the basics of using Lightroom and some of their um, editing tools. I'm not going to go into great detail about that in this video, but it's right there if you need it. So what we're gonna do is make any of our edits to the color um, here in our editor. So I'll just, whatever, bring up the highlights. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using this as, a, as an exercise. But basically you're gonna make any of those slight edits and then you're gonna go up and hit the develop tab and then new preset. So basically we're gonna create a preset of all of those edits you did to that base photo first. So we'll save our presets as totally cool preset. That's just an example and I'll create that. Now before I did this tutorial, I went ahead and just created a, another preset to save some time. So what that will actually look like is this. This is my summer vibes preset. Um, it's got that nice like deserty rustic feel. And so this is the, the look that I wanna to apply to the other five photos. So what I'm gonna do is go back out to my library. We'll zoom out. And then all we need to do is hold down shift and select all of the photos that we wanna apply that style to. Now under your quick develop tab over here, you'll see save preset. And all you have to do is go find that preset that you just saved and select it attribute it to all those photos that you have selected. You'll notice it might take a little while to load in, but that's it. You've just uh, added that same effect, that same look across all of the photos in the series. And this is really cool when you have, you know, 50, 60, 100, 200 photos that you don't wanna go and actually have to edit each and every one of them. So it's really powerful, simple tool that you can use when you're working with um, you know, a series of photos. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, crush that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side.